Hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's video is a bit of a sort of catch up and um, sort of overview of how things have been going over the last while on my Slim and World sort of progress, plan, journey, whatever you want to call it. Um, for the people who haven't watched my videos recently, I do apologise for my voice. It's not normally as rough as this, but I am going through a bit of a cold at the moment. Um, so I do apologise that it's a little bit more rough than usual. Um, so today really, as I said, it's just a bit of a catch up and um, I'm going to go over some things that have meant um, quite a big difference to myself whilst I've been in some worlds. So um, this week will be weighing 20, um, which I can't quite believe myself, but we're at that point now. Um, things feel like um, the norm, um, I would say, really, to be honest, you know, you know, the day-to-day -day of what I include in my diet on Slim World is normal food. Of course, all of the food is normal. There is no bad food, there is no good food. Of course, there are things that are better for us and less better for us than others. And that's absolutely fine, but we just need to make sure that we eat them all in moderation. Because even if you were to eat a pile of lettuce and a pile of tomatoes, you're not going to get the right the right energy um, requirements or the right nutrients for your diet to be healthy. Yes, it's healthy food, but that doesn't mean that you eat lots and lots and lots of it. And I think I really enjoy vegetables. I enjoy some salad. I also enjoy lots and lots of fruit. But I think for me personally, what I've always really struggled with is to do the sort of third or sort of half of the plate as speed food. Um, a lot of the time I generally have sort of fruit and veg as a side, um, you know, like snacks and things like that anyway, so I don't really feel like I need to go purposefully out of my way to add lots of salad or whatever onto a plate of food, which otherwise I wouldn't normally put on the plate anyway. And I know it's to bulk you up and fill you up and everything, and that's absolutely fine. Um, but I think, you know, if you are struggling with that aspect at, uh, aspect at home, I just want to say that that's okay and you don't have to do that. Um, I certainly have eaten probably less than five salads the whole time that I've been on Summer World and those salads have been from Subway. Um, I haven't made a salad at home at all and to be honest, I haven't needed to. Um, it's not stopped my weight loss in any way, shape or form. It's not really helped my weight loss either. I, I wouldn't really say that. Um, but, you know, if that's your thing and you enjoy salads, then you need to make sure that they're really bulky and they're full of lots of proteins as well, because that's what's going to give you the energy and that's what's the enjoyable part of it, really, in my opinion anyway, um, and will give you lots of sort of filling, thing, filling power from your protein in there. Um, so, yeah, I think people can have different perspectives about different Slim World plans or Weight Watchers or Scotch Slimmers or you know the Dukan diet or the Atkins diet whatever it is I've done it I have genuinely done every diet probably imaginable on a list over the years um, and to be honest Slim World at the moment apart from calorie counting on my fitness pal um, are the only two things that have generally made a, a big difference to me in my weight loss attempts. Um, but as we all know, we do what's right for us and we do what works for us. And what works for one person won't always work for the next. And I think that's okay because we're not all the same and we don't all enjoy the same thing either. So it's really just a reassurance sort of note for everyone at home who may or may not be struggling right now. You've got this. One, you've got this. Two, you can do it. And three, if it's not working for you, try something else. Always try, I always say, try more sins, try less sins, try more walking, try less walking. Try to find a day or a week that you can really enjoy all of your food. And as long as you're enjoying it, you're doing something right. Um, as long as you're, you know, sort of meeting your sort of sin allowance and you're not going over it too much, you're also doing the right thing. Because if you think back to how you were before, your diet probably wasn't that good, um, probably didn't have a lot of vegetables or nutrients in it, and it probably was really, really sort of high, heavily carb based or high fat content based as well. And obviously, if we don't move around, we do gain weight, and that's a fact. Um, what I will say is during my sort of weight loss so far, I've lost three stone four and a half pounds in 19 weeks. And um, I think the biggest non-scale victory for me is my clothing size. So, 
These are a pair of jeans that I bought and I have worn a lot. Um, however, they're now going to be sort of um, donated to my local charity shop. But as you can see on this, they were from Florence and Fred Tesco jeans, size UK 20. Now, these are genuinely just as wide as my top half of my body at the moment and more. They wrap around me. Um, they also wrap around my hips here as well. And what I will say to you is the last time I put these on, they genuinely fell down every step of the way. And it was really embarrassing. I had to yank them up and it made me feel really uncomfortable to be honest. Now what I can tell you is that on my birthday this year, so my birthday was the 25th of September, I am currently wearing these jeans at the moment um, and I'm not going to whip them off and show you the label but they are a UK size 16, again from Tesco's but it just goes to show they're the same jeans in a different size and as I said of course these are a 20, these jeans are a 16 and they are even looser today than they were on the 25th of September which is only a few weeks ago which for me personally is just fantastic. Um, another non-scale victory that I've probably, I think I've mentioned before, is being able to have a bath. Now, I know that might not sound a big deal to a lot of people. A lot of people might not have baths. You might not enjoy them. But, and it's certainly not something that I do regularly, but certainly for myself, getting into the bath wasn't an issue. Getting out of the bath genuinely was very, very difficult. Um, there was a time, months and months ago, I'm trying not to get upset about it, but I genuinely thought I was going to need to shout at my husband to come and get me and help me out of the bath. My arms and my hands and my, my wrists, I genuinely took about three attempts to try to get up out of the bath and I couldn't. Um, I was knackered, to be honest. Um, I ended up just lying in the bath for a bit longer I drained all the water out of it um, as I thought that that was maybe making matters a little bit worse because obviously I was, as you start to get out of the water you start to float a bit and things as well so I thought I'll drain all the water out of the bath and that did help me and I did eventually manage to get up but it was the most demoralising moment ever for me. Um, at the age of 31 at the time, I'm now 32, not being able to get out of the bath was a real wake up call and a scary one at that. Another non-scale victory was not being able, genuinely struggling and not being able to properly tie my shoelaces on my trainers without being out of breath, without having to go <gasps> and bending over really, really quickly to try to do my shoelaces up, um, walking upstairs, talking and walking at the same time, talking and walking on the phone. Um, these are all things that, genuinely looking back, were not good, uh, sort of, there weren't, weren't good measurements of, him, of health and there were, it, there were terrible measurements of health for me. Um, but these are thankfully things that I no longer have to struggle with. Um, also shaving, shaving legs, shaving other areas, etc. Being able to actually see. Now I know some of you at home might not shave and that's absolutely fine. Some of us don't shave all of the time and that's absolutely fine. But at the same time, when you are very overweight, the pressure that you're putting on your carotid artery here by looking, for example, to shave is extreme. And there were times where I actually felt dizzy doing that. So again, that shows you how much pressure I was putting on my carotid artery, which is this one here, which delivers blood to your brain. And I ended up feeling very, very faint and dizzy several occasions. Also, um, bending over as well, as I mentioned, to tie my shoelaces, I would get a sort of head rush. All of these things are completely gone. Um, I, I'm not on any medications at all apart from my mini pill, which I've mentioned a pre on a previous video, but um, I genuinely do feel so much better and I can't even, I can't even begin to give you a full list of everything that is better. Um, but again, as a bit of a reassurance post for all of you guys is that you can make positive change. You can and you will do it. It takes time, yeah, it does. But you know what, it also takes time to gain weight as well. It takes time to also recognise that you've lost weight and you've gained health because when you're so used to looking overweight or being overweight or feeling unfit or feeling in agony and pain, 
you don't quickly switch back to being okay. It takes months and weeks, or weeks and months, whatever you want to say it, months or years to recognise that you are a different person and you matter and you have done extremely well. Now, every single day is a school day for all of us and I try to make a sort of reset every morning with the best intentions possible and I don't think I could ask myself to do any more than that. We all live busy lives. Um, we'll mostly work, uh, we have got family life, we've got friends, we've got other commitments, we've got bills to pay, we've got other things that go on and actually for us to be successful and even just to maintain or know that we're going to gain, that's fine, weight does go up and down, it's normal and I think just normalising that is really, really important. Now, as I mentioned, I have currently lost three stone four and a half pounds in 19 weeks, this is the 20th weigh in on Thursday of this week. Um, and today is Monday the 16th of October. I'm on annual leave all of this week, so um, there may be some extra snacks and things in play, but that's okay because I'm on annual leave. I'm not on holiday again till December now. So if I want to have a little bit of what I want um, when I'm on holiday uh, with my family, then I will. Um, I'm not purposefully going out of my way to do it, but I also don't want to be a bit of a misery guts by saying no to every single thing. And I think life is about living, isn't it? It's not about restricting yourself. And life as we know it is too short to miss out on opportunities that really mean a lot to you at that moment in time. And I think if you can make a conscious decision and say, this is exactly what I want right now, and I'm going to maybe make some changes to the rest of my day or tomorrow to, think, to counteract that, fine that's absolutely fine and I think that's the right way to go about it so well done if you guys are doing that or if you're working towards that already there is not much more you can do than that so fantastic well done um I suppose my next goal will be the three and a half stone stone award stone mark whatever you want to call it ideally it would be great to do that in the next week uh, this week but it's probably not going to happen two and a half pounds weight loss in one week is quite a lot and although I lost three pounds last week, I wasn't feeling too great. And obviously this is the, the outcome, is the, the sort of cold in the throat thing going on. Um, I didn't feel like this at the beginning of last week, but that's when I started to feel just not quite right. And I did eat more soups as the day, as the week went on, so that possibly had a bit of a, an impact regards to my weight loss. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, if it takes me a little bit longer to, to get that three and a half stone award, then so be it. I would like to do it within the next two weeks though, so if I was to lose a pound this week, a pound and a half next week, or whatever it is, then I will still get that by the end of the month and I don't think I can ask for much more than that. Um, ideally, I wanted to lose five stone before Christmas, but I'm not sure if that's realistic actually, and I don't want to set myself a goal that's not achievable. So I think at this stage, I would really like to lose four and a half stone for Christmas, so that gives me between hopefully the end of this month and the, almost the end of December to lose another stone. And I think if I, if I manage it sooner than that, amazing, but four and a half stone for me at the moment seems realistic and it seems like something I can really, really work towards. But I think if I gave myself the extra half a stone on top of that, I think I would worry and I think I would maybe become a little bit too what's the word obsessive with sins and soups and salads and things that I don't normally go out of my way to eat very much of to be fair um, and I don't have all day to go exercising to the gym I don't have hours free in a night to go out walk, walking for you know an hour or two at night I just don't have that time so it needs to be achievable within my day-to-day -day and what I like to do and what I can do with my day um, and I think that's you know, I think it's realistic to give yourself goals that you know that you can achieve because I think if you set your goals too high and you don't get there, then that can be quite demoralising, it can be embarrassing, it can be demotivating and so I think that's why we need to make sure that, yeah, we're maybe setting the goalposts a little bit closer and we might completely surpass that, but isn't it better to have a bit of an easier goal than give yourself too much um, you know too much work to do in a short period of time and you know of course at this time of the year we have things to go to we have pantos we have days out we have nights out we have cozy weekends out 
you know, shopping, Christmas shopping, things like that. And if you want to have, you know, a hot chocolate or something, you might not want to count it in your sins. You might want to, but if you don't, yeah, it might have an impact on your weight loss, but you don't want to miss out on these important parts. And that's what I mean by enjoying the moment. Uh, and if it matters to you and it's a tradition or whatever it is, then do it. Absolutely do it because you will look back and you'll regret it. And it may also mean that you then bounce on to something else that because you didn't have the hot chocolate, you then go and have a big slice of cake. You then go and have another hot chocolate later on at night. You then have a takeaway. The next again morning you wake up, you have a fry up. Who knows? Talking about fry ups, I'll quickly tell you what I had to eat today. So for breakfast, we had a sort of healthy fry up. So it was, my plate was only one sins worth. So it was two uh, chicken, heck, um, chicken Italia heck sausages. I had a fried egg. I had mushrooms. I had a tomato. And I also had two turkey bacon rashers as well. So all of that was just the one sin and that was half a sin per chicken Italia sausage. And they are lovely. They're even better than they're on Tesco club card deals, so check them out. Um, I then had some fruit, which I didn't take a photo of, but I did have some fruit. Uh, for lunch, we went to Costco. Um, just had a bit of a wander about, to be honest. And um, I had a jacket potato with beans. Now, they don't put butter on the jacket potatoes, so they are completely sin-free. I have checked with the staff on various occasions. And I also had a Pepsi Max cherry, so that was absolutely fine. So no sins attached to that as well, okay? So at one point, it, at this point we're on one sin um, and then whilst we were in Costco we didn't buy much to be honest but whilst we were in there I actually noticed that they had huge Toblerones now they were four and a half kilograms per Toblerone and I have lost 21 kilograms in weight so it's just over four and a half of these huge Toblerone bars. I mean, they were honestly humongous. I struggled to pick one up. And I was if it wasn't such a busy area that we were in in the shop, I would have stood with four on me and get my husband to take a photo because it was incredible. Now, my stepson, Logan, is nearly five and he weighs just under three stone. And I can assure you, if any of you got children or grandchildren or anything like that at home, Children are dense, they're very heavy. And what I did notice today is that Logan is getting incredibly heavy to hold. <laughs> um, not that he needs lifted very much, but even just to, to lift him up for a minute is heavy. So to imagine having that on me every day and more, walking about, doing day-to-day -day tasks, no wonder, no wonder I was struggling. My poor heart and my bones and everything else going around was carrying an extra three and a bit, three, and a, three stone and a bit weight, which is just absolutely crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that, that in itself is a very clear visual as to how much I've lost weight. When we came home, we had chicken fajitas with onion and peppers. I had my Healthy Extra B, which was my Weight Watchers wrap. I then had my Healthy Extra A1 and 2 and that was 60 grams of cheddar and so the chicken was free, the peppers and the onion were free as well or speed foods um, and we just added a very small amount of sort, of sort of fajita seasoning to be honest. I'm not counting it as sins because it was so little that actually it was seasoning and that's my choice. If you guys want to sin it, that's absolutely fine. But I didn't because it was such a small amount and it was flavour and I loved it. I loved every minute of it. So that was what I had for dinner. I didn't have chips or rice or anything like that with it. Um, and for dessert tonight, I had a, a banana sorin loaf. And I'm also just about to go and have an apple sorin loaf with a cup of tea. And it will have a dash of milk in it. Um, which would probably be between half a sin and maybe one sin, um, one sin just to be safe. So at the moment today, I will be ending the day on 10, 11, 12 cents, which I don't think is too bad for a Monday, and a Monday where I've mostly been out of the house, and of course, as I said, it's annual leave week. So it's been a really busy day, 
Um, as I said, I just wanted to pop on and give you guys a bit of a chatty sort of update and hopefully this will be useful to some of you guys at home. If you have any questions, if you have anything you'd like to share or any suggestions that you have, then feel free to pop them in the box below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. It's a pleasure to do these videos for you guys at home. I hope they are helpful. I hope they do inspire you and I hope they motivate you to have another fantastic week. So thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.